It's under paper pieces and leftovers. Okay. I above the leftovers part. Well, it's because it's always paper? leftover pieces of paper. Pieces. Tommy's falling pieces more. Pieces. Mm -hmm. And. 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 Left. Oh my gosh. Of course, I got the special kit. Stop. Yeah, you're alive. Can you get in? Yes. You're sure. Yes. It doesn't kick you out? You sure? No. Okay. There we go. Really? Mm -hmm. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I just can't see the screen from up here. That's like the, the part, you know, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Twerp? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Twerp? How do I block? No. <laughs> Mean. Put user in time out. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. Okay. But there we go. It's frozen or what? No, it's going to take a minute. It's a little behind. That's a lot behind. What do you mean a little? Alright, there we go. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. Okay. Now I don't have to waste video space um, on the camera, the phone, etc. Mm -hmm. I can just do it this way now and save my. I subscribe to you. Space. Thank you, baby. But I have so many pieces and colors and everything else and I know some people wanted to see exactly how I did this and I don't mind it's a lot easier doing it this way than mm -hmm. having to um, I just need that out of my face so. Hold on, what if I See, the issue for me is where, because the light is right in my eyes. Mm -hmm. As long as I can see up there, I'm fine. All right, that's fine. It's hot in here. Don't cover her up. <clears throat> it's actually kind of cool in here. Okay, cool. then maybe it's just me. That's fine. Love you I always got to be extra. I love you, baby. What are you doing? Um, nothing much. Just uh, a few new clothes and watching my little puppy. Do you need money for your whatever? No, I have You good? good? Thank you. <laughs> let me know. I will. Love you, monster. If you need anything, let me know. Probably not. I have an alarm set for when Dad takes lunch. That way I can hop off. Alright. Alright, baby girl. I love you. Love I'm gonna you. Carry okay. on. They already know that you forget because of your little short-term memory loss. If you come in, yeah. they already know. Okay. So don't worry about interrupting. Okay. You're fine. Not that you're going to remember I even told you that. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Alright, Sneaker. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Not everybody's gonna get the notification which is fine I just wanted to make sure it wasn't private mm -hmm. um, it's not private because one of the girls said that it was private and that was my only concern that people couldn't get in and out mm -hmm. well, I got so in. I got out oh fine. she's in okay I see her all right baby I just needed you to help me okay hi Wanda there's a little bit of a delay and that's what me and my daughter were looking at just to see if it's a lot or a little. And this is going to be, what is that called? Pretty by the pool. <clears throat> and I can always get into a, a live, a video chat with you if you want one-on-one. -on -one. I 
help some of the other friends I have with it. But as far as cutting and pieces and sizes, I can help with all of that. Hubby's at work. I have two hours to play with paper and then I have to take a little bit of a break. So this is going to be for orange hair, well not orange, a redhead, that sounds horrible, my orange hair child. And Catherine Puller ink is what I use. This color of cardstock is from 12 by 12 cardstock shop. And I'm pulling my colors right now. It's squash. That's the color that I just wrote it because it doesn't come with um, the stickers. It, I order a pack of 25 and it just has a label, but that's the only way that I know how to keep track of replacing colors on my mats. But I'm just going to ink and get these going for the orders I have and then I have my next set of mini orders and I don't mind doing it on live, it's the same thing for me. Either way it's going to get done, right? I was laughing a lot with a friend tonight. Uh, it was good to talk to somebody. I went to the store and, well, Rite Aid. They're back to wearing masks. You have to have a mask to go into the store again. All the pharmacy and the employees were wearing masks. I'm like, great, COVID. Because the numbers were not. Good thing we got to the Dodger game when we went. And it's only 120 degrees outside today. Well, it's 100, but it feels like an oven. I'm new to the live. I got access today. So, good thing that was on the back side of that. I had to put in permission requests. And then, of course, I had to mark because sometimes I drop the F-bomb. Um, I had to put in not for kids just in case because I don't want to offend anybody's child even though we all have different parenting, parenting my daughter I always watched her when she was little I didn't let her get on anybody's lives unless I was right there just so I could monitor what was being said because you never know things are good I hope for you as well I feel bad that you have to type everything to me, but I don't mind getting into um, a video messenger, video messenger, Facebook messenger with you if you need me. I don't mind sitting there and helping. I can help with uh, design space and sizing. Oh, lucky you. I would give anything to stay in the 80s. But Inland Empire in California, um, no, our summer is oof, anywhere from 110 to 117. It's almost as bad as when I lived in Vegas. Vegas was just almost as bad. A little worse because it was dry heat. At least here we got some of the ocean breeze, but the Santa Ana winds are horrible. So when it's windy and hot and it just feels like it's going to melt your skin off, what? The only thing I will say that I wasn't crazy about the live is it doesn't allow me to zoom in or out. It's a fixed camera. Okay, so you're not super far from me. You're only about 45 minutes then. Hmm, maybe we should meet in Ontario or even Victoria Gardens one day for lunch. I remember you didn't live too far from me when I mailed you your stuff because I thought that that was pretty close. Um, what was the name of that? I'm going to get on the laptop real quick because I can't use my, my um, 
I want to say Mario, but I'm not sure. Scrapbook. I know that there's a scrapbook store that my husband went to take me to, but it was closed. It wasn't open when we went. It's open, but it just wasn't open during the hours. Frank Garcia Studio. It's in um, Upland, which isn't too far. It's open now and closes at 7. But I'm dying to go there. The stores are... The pictures are so nice. But, yeah. Um, Ontario is about 25 minutes from me. Not too far. Even if I had to drive a little farther... Or if we met at the scrapbook store. I used to go to Ontario a lot when the scrapbook store across the street from the mall was open. But COVID kind of killed a lot of places and it's sad. And now with the 12 by 12 cardstock shop, I'm actually getting ready to order some of their kits. So I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, the scrapbook store that was across from the Ontario Mills Mall because my husband and I usually go there quite often um, on the weekends when he's off <clears throat> I'd stop in there and then we would hit C's Candy which was just a couple doors down it was gutted and now it's empty and I just I feel bad I used to go in there and spend way too much money but no regrets right yes well, I'm going to go to the Frank Garcia one if I can get to it when it's open. It's just sometimes on the weekends because of the hours. My husband's an early bird. They're either not open or by the time we can get to them because we've already done all of our errands, they're getting ready to close. And Upland's not too far. I mean, I used to live down in San Fernando Valley. That's actually where I lived for a long time as a teenager and a young adult. As a child, I was in Long Beach. That's where I was born and raised. But then we moved to Burbank and um, North Hollywood because I went to North Hollywood High. And then I moved to Valencia and I stayed up in that area for a long time before I went to Vegas. And the reason I ended up in Vegas, one, because my grandparents retired there, but two, my nursing career took me there. But since nursing is out the window with the trimmers and everything else, we moved back to California, my daughter and my kids are, um, for my dad, and that is red. This is why I used this and stamp before, because to the naked eye, this looks very brown. Looks a little red in the light, but not on the paper. Um, we moved here to be closer to my dad and my aunt because my aunt was going through breast cancer and it had gotten in the lining of her heart. She was going through chemo, she had the surgery, she was doing great, and she passed away to COVID. And my dad was actually killed in the head on New Year's Eve. Of 2017 and then that's where this came from his birthday and the date he passed away I got that about two years ago oh, I don't know if you guys can see it there we go I forget the camera's way down here but um, my dad is in heaven with my aunt and I just never moved back to Vegas my grandpa had passed away in 2010. My grandma was by herself. We would go out and visit all the time. But she just passed away in February. And we have not been back to Vegas. Except the day she passed away to get some keepsakes. Because grandparents you can't replace. Thank you. A friend of my husband's owns a shop. And even though it's really dry because I took a shower. Um, you can pick any design and he... All of this was 60 bucks, that's it. And I know normally they cost way more, especially because of the length of it. It's 16 inches, 14 inches, yeah. Um, it was $60 and they were willing to put other colors, but I wasn't ready for all the extra colors. Just, I wanted to let it heal before we added and I wanted to make sure of the color. And I think I'm gonna go with the watermark. My husband has it on his neck on his Indian tattoo because he's Native American and 
I love the way that the watermark looks, and I think we're going to throw red all over it, and then add clouds and some birds. And then I'm going to probably put Daddy's little girl, because I have um, a frame with kids writing, and I think I'm going to use that writing. But, yes, <clears throat> a friend of his owns a shop in Barstow, so we drove to Barstow, which isn't a bad thing, because they have all the outlets there. I used to go to the outlets in Vegas when I lived there, and I love the outlets. I don't want to pay full price for something if I don't have to. Who does? But I don't always have to buy name brand either. I'm okay with stuff from Walmart. Especially tank tops. Well, Target, I should say. I got the tank top I have on now is from Target. I love it. Uh, so this one here... This brown that I'm using for the hair, it's not the uh, the lighter brown that I was using for the last set of Franklin Bears because it came out of the um, Skin Tones pack. But this one is American Crafts and it's caramel. It is, once again, I had to write just so I knew because I ordered packs of 25. I use this on the Franklin Bear. Um, the regular Franklin Bears. The only reason the last Franklin Bears came out super light was because that was leftovers from the skin tone pack. And that color was twig. And then Catherine Fuller, I use Sandcastle to go around it. And this is the one that I use for my Franklin Bears as well. The inking. Summer is almost here. We're debating what to do for the weekend. I don't want to go anywhere packed. We were thinking about just barbecuing, even though I wanted to go to the lake, but they're starting to push the mask mandate. Even though we're going to be outside, I told my husband, I don't want to have to wear a mask going in the water. I've seen pictures of those people and I laugh, but that would be me forgetting to take it off. I have Golden Girl masks on top of the medical ones. I just wish this crap would end already. They said that it's here to stay. I'm just glad that so many people aren't losing their lives and families aren't losing their family members. It's still sad that so many people passed away, but at least it's not as bad. My husband is wearing a mask at work now because he's indoors. And he said it's so hot, but he's got to do what he's got to do to go back to work. Yeah, I know. But then you get so used to a mask that you feel weird without it. I remember when we started being able to not wear them in stores. I told my husband I felt like something was missing. And then it was almost like um, you didn't want to not wear it just because you got used to it. And the first couple times I went out, because I have lupus, my I got sick. And I told my husband, if I'm going to get sick every time I leave, then I'm just going to keep wearing it. But I would be the only one wearing it. So I just took it off. It just took a couple times of me going out and being around people for my immune system to pick up some again. But they said the flu and everything, there wasn't many cases. Well, yeah, there's not a lot of cases if everybody's wearing a mask. But now this winter, if we'll see. I just, I just want people to be healthy. Being sick is no fun. My husband, I got him, when he got sick for me, he got really sick. I felt bad. He was on the couch for almost a week. And all he did was sleep. He didn't even want to eat. I just had to keep reminding him to drink fluids. But, yeah. He said, why didn't you tell me you were that sick? Well, women don't complain. Men think they're dying when they have a little cold. And women are just like, meh. So this is going to be... Pretty by the pool from Treasure Box Designs. My daughter was out here a minute ago, but she disappeared. And I think she put Little Miss Puppy in the playpen. We got her a five foot in diameter playpen because I'm not going to put her in a crate to crate trainer. Um, pretty by the pool I did. And this one I have an order for several. So I've already cut them all out, inked them and bagged them, and we'll glue them together. 
Um, this is half of the ones I'm working on now. <clears throat> and then I separate. Nice. Oh, that was in the back. Good. And then I separated all the pieces before I decided to dump them in the brown. And these are for the bathing suits because one of the ladies ordered four of them. And I didn't want to put all four. She wants two brown hair and then a blonde and a redhead. And I didn't want them all facing the same way, so I actually mirrored them. So that way she can put one on each side of the page and they'll be facing each other or facing away from each other unless she uses one brown and the blonde facing the same way so it looks like they're floating off but either way i didn't want all four being the same so i changed up the bathing suit and um the hair color and the direction it's facing i do too i put them in baggies well actually <clears throat> It depends. If I'm cutting out a gazillion Franklins, they're in baggies. But if I'm cutting out just one or two, don't judge me. I put them in the Taco Bell bean cups. And I generally separate them by colors. And then ink them and then I throw them into one to keep them all until I glue. Or I will throw it in a baggie then. The only reason why they're in baggies after I ink them now is because there's so many that I don't want to keep dumping them all over. <clears throat> I just, yeah, my hands made a little bit of tremor as well. Pretty crazy tremors when I woke up today. They've gotten better. I hopped on live for a while, but it kept giving me issues, so I hopped off because I had to ask for permission and put in everything that no gun violence, no live streaming, this, that, and the other, and all the permissions because people are really something else. And then um, I saw that it kept saying private, so I hopped off. I was video chatting with a friend for a while, and then I was like, well, let's get on live again just to make sure. And that's why in the beginning my daughter's there trying to make sure she can see. So for the skin tone, because I have a lot of people that ask, and I know you guys might not be in here now, but you can always watch this later because it's going to upload it automatically. I don't, I'm not going to edit anything out. I'm not going to fix anything. Um, it's going to be just the whole video. Whatever mistakes I made, like dumping my pieces onto my ink. And I'm going to show you guys the colors here. I'm just looking for the last one. Just so people can see the difference for this. All right. So this one here is peach. They're both the same. By coordinations. And this one here is the one that I actually like better. Let's see if you can tell the difference here. This one is shrimp. This top one. And it's just a prettier peachy color it actually doesn't have the light brown undertones so using the clay mask color from from Catherine Puller on it it will be brighter but I just got it it came in a pack of 25 and it's shrimp now and yes Wanda I know you're always my which color is that which is fine that's why I try to keep them all labeled so I can figure out and not misguide anybody um lisa who i was chatting with earlier and we were laughing you know just like old crazy women because i was on one of my rants and no wolf bar you're definitely going to want one of these they're i think 13 dollars. they go on sale so watch 12 by 12 card stock shop i am ordering the basil one because i do use basil paper also do not order the peach for skin from Ameri um, American Craft Paper because it's really, really, really pink. It's not peach. Let me move down. I forgot my camera's over here. I usually use my tripod, but since I can't zoom in, <clears throat> it's very pink. Very, yeah, exactly. The shrimp is going to be dead smack peach, but this is almost like a peach pink and it's not a skin tone 
I just don't know what they were thinking. The salmon is very, very pretty. I love salmon. I use it a lot. And that's actually what I used on the inner part of the ears, which is already ink, but I used my salmon right there. And I used Sparkling Berry to put the edges on it. All of my inks are Catherine Pooler just because they have refills. And yeah, the shrimp is definitely the peach to use for skin tones. Um, I made swatches of all my Catherine Poolers. These are Lawn Fawn and then this is Simon Says Stamp. Yeah, well, you know, I used to get my paper from Hobby Lobby and keep, hold on, let me take my camera down and show you. Now, don't, I have stuff everywhere. I have so much, my dream box is full. I have paper up here. Oh, it's telling me to turn it. I can't zoom out, so. I have, all of this is paper. These are all full of paper. Those are my um, paper packs and my doodle bug designs. Um, and then more Hobby Lobby paper. And then I have two of these in my bedroom full of paper. Let me unplug my phone. Oh yes, my poor pitiful baby's bed over there. But I normally keep, these are all of my mats. I have three rows of them. I don't change my mats for each color. I've had mats for years. I don't know if you guys remember the Cricut Imagine machine. It's that couple hundred dollar one from HP. And it only took these mats. I think it's 15, 16 years. That's how long my mats last. The key to the mat is go get them. Why they are on sale from Hobby Lobby because a pack of two is $7.50. I get two at a time. It's basically buy one, get one free when they're 50% off. I label them with the color that is on it, and I only designate it to that color. When it's full and there's no room, then I take this color off. Your mats will last you years and years and years and years. But I have two more of these that are full of paper, and then I have the recollections boxes in my closet that are also full of paper. I have paper everywhere. It's tons and tons of paper. But... 12 by 12 cardstock shop bin team member for them is great because I do get um, to try a lot of their products. I'm trying to get this back where I want it. All right, there we go. I do get to try a lot of the products and that's how the skin tone paper came out. I just got my second order of paper. Yes, I don't have the basil. I just ordered them. And I do have Tim Holt Distress Inks. And you know what the Distress Inks do, I hope. <clears throat> I do play with a lot of them, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> when your hands are full. There we go. The problem is they're so heavy for my hands, the, the plastic um, containers. That's why I try not to put them so full. But yes, I have two that are full of them. And you use the water bottle on them and it'll cause little rain droplet appearances. I can do a video on those if you need, but I use it on my card making, a lot of it. Um, let me put this up, there we go, okay. And then if you don't have, get this also. Oh yeah, no, I've had the same mats for 15 years. Some of them even longer than that. Um, after probably five or six uses, use this, this from Target. Order it online, it's ammonia free. And um, you spray the mat, it smells like mint, not like ammonia. You spray the mat, and you let it sit only for two or three minutes. You can use the old like casino card or bank card or your little scraper, which our Dollar Tree now has, which I was super excited when I seen this. Oh yes, I use the oxide part of it so much. But um, this is what I get all the 
paper fibers off my mats with. That way they stick. And then another thing is when they lose their stick, you can use spray adhesive, any kind. This one I just got and it's great. I sprayed it on my mat and I let it dry before I put anything on it. And it actually let my paper stick back to the mat. But then also I just put tape on the corners. That way it doesn't shift if I miss the part of it. But it's nice and sticky again from the um, adhesive spray. And I know there's that other one that people use. Let me see if I have it handy, which I know it's in a blue zigzag, I believe is what it's called, right? In the blue bottle. Um, my, here's one of them. Yeah, they have the big ones and you can just put it on the four corners and then down the middle, like the cross part of the mat and it'll stick. But my mats last forever. Yeah, the scrapers, I was really surprised and it works really good. I like that this one's actually flatter at the, the end um, Then it's thinner. It's hard to, it, theirs is thinner. I don't know how they got away with almost mimicking it dead smack, but um, it's a lot thinner, so it's easier to get under the cardstock. And your cardstock or your mats, if they're cracking, that's because you're doing what I do once they're old, you bend it to get the paper up. Um, our dollar store, yeah. I only went in for some chew toys for the puppy. Let me grab her. Hi. Come say hi. Look. Come say hi. Look. Look. Say hi. You want to say hi? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I went to go get the baby some stuff. And <laughs> they had all of the other stuff sitting right there at the register. And I was like, wait, what? They have scrapbooking stuff? Never, never, ever thought that they would. And I was really surprised. I'm just adjusting this again. Sorry, because she's on my lap. Okay, there we go. It has a thing on it, but because it's charging, it's acting up a little, which is fine. Um, but I went to go get her some goodies, some chew toys, and we stopped by and got um, the adhesive spray. And that stuff is great. It is so good. But I use reposition glue stick mostly to use it. Thank you. Yeah, this was my Mother's Day present. She's um, three months now. She helps me scrapbook. She's good. I didn't realize that I paused the thing with her. Um, I usually just let her sit up here, but. I know, baby. She was my little Mother's Day present from the kids and the husband. I love you. Um, what was I? Yeah, I know that the 99 cent store, they didn't have very much stuff. But the family dollar, I don't go that far because of my shoulder and my neck and the drive by myself. If my husband's with me, absolutely, he'll drive. But if I'm by myself, I won't go. The Dollar Tree, though, I had to ask my husband which one it was because I get them mixed up. He's like, look at the bag. I know. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Mm, smart ass. And uh, it was Dollar Tree, and they have, the whole wall is scrapbooking. I was surprised because before it never used to be that way and scrapbooking stuff gets so expensive and I try not to keep buying because I have some stuff that's years and years old and some stuff that's new and, and prima flowers is a must I also love prima flowers I'm hoping that the store starts stocking those too but I get them from Hobby Lobby when they're on sale are you really going to steal my rag Missy? so I'm going to do the shrimp and the peach 
because I mixed them just to see, and it's almost spot on. But this one is actually the shrimp. The other one is the peach in the bag. And there's a little bit of a difference, but not much. Oh, thank you, Missy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I know, baby. And uh, I'm going to use the same color for the edges that I did, which is clay mask, Catherine Cooler. Everything with this, I look for them on sale. And the thing with, um, where did I used to get them from? Um, I'd have to look back. If you spent $50, you got $5 off, so I would spend $50 on them and then use my $5 coupon plus my free shipping, and then I would make a second order, same thing. Spend $50, use a $5 coupon off. If I go through my order somewhere, I'll find the company I went through. And I used them, but then they quit carrying a lot of the refills and the colors that I needed. And we had a winner of the babies. What, Mama? I got a scrapbook. Come on. Come in here. I know. There. Play. All right. I put her down. Um, all of the babies from the skin tone pack, I have to mail them out tomorrow. Here they are up close, though. And I use some of this color, which is the twig on the Franklin Bears. Oh yes, baby shower. Oh man, I didn't get one. I don't have any pictures of baby shower because I was in the hospital and they had to put me in a coma and it was horrible. Well, I can't even say it was horrible, I don't remember. It's just horrible, I don't have any pictures of me being pregnant. None, not a one exists. It's almost like um, you could say that my kid was adopted or stolen because <laughs> I have the stretch marks to prove that I had kids, but I just don't have any pictures of me being pregnant. None after birth because my hyperemesis was so bad. Um, I lost 60 pounds when I was pregnant. It was pretty horrible. So they had to put me in a medically induced coma. So I'm so jealous of people that have baby showers. I never got to do the baby showers. and. Uh, I just look at like my scrapbook and all of a sudden it went from me drinking to having kids. <laughs> There's no pictures of baby showers. And what can you, you, I can't change it, but oh yeah, if I smelled anything, I would start vomiting and I would just dry heave. So they had to put me in a coma. They put me on a Drew Peridol and a Benadryl drip. So yeah, mm. no, no baby shower pictures, no pregnancy pictures, no nothing. Um, I don't even think I have a picture of my pregnancy test. I was really sick. I thought I had a really bad flu and, um, SARS was around then. They thought I had SARS because I was running a fever and sick as a dog, which is COVID. I'm like, no, I, none of my patients have tested positive for it. And I was working in a nursing home on my weekends. And I was just so sick. So, so sick. Oh my gosh. Mm. The doctor's like, well, you're either going to throw her up or throw her out. I'm like, great. Well, then let's throw her out. She needs an eviction letter. Because <clears throat> my husband finally took me to the doctor and yeah, I was pregnant. And I thought I had the flu. Doctor came in and said it's a nine month flu. And I'm like, we'll see about that. Yeah, I was only pregnant seven months. So she lied. I know. That's what my other friend was saying earlier. I was on one today. I was ranting and raving and just being silly. I get in my moods, but I'm always afraid to offend people because people are just too emotional. And my thing is, is if you're that sensitive, I am not the friend for you because I speak what's on my mind. If it's purple, it's purple. You are not going to convince me to lie to somebody and say it's blue. I refuse. Now, are you making eight baby shower titles? Is it for like um, gifts or for I know she ain't having eight kids. Oh, yeah. My daughter is 18 and my son is 25. 
My daughter is the one with a brain injury. She got hit by a car in front of her school while crossing the street. I can talk about it now because it's all settled. The lawsuit, the lady didn't want to pay for the damage. It was horrible. The way that California is, once you say car accident, they don't, the insurance doesn't want to pay it. I don't know about other states, but you live here too. Um, once car accident and pedestrian are in the same accident, I need your Etsy again because I got a new phone and it didn't save all of my stuff, which is stupid, but, um, so once you say car accident, yeah, the insurance doesn't want to cover your medical bills. And the lady hit my daughter with the front end of her car, the driver's side, dented and rippled. She dented the whole driver's side quarter panel. My daughter went up in the air, came down, and her head took off the lady's driver's side mirror. Well, while my daughter's laying in the middle of the street, and I'm sitting there trying to comfort my daughter, another nurse pulls up, and I know this lady's a nurse she was telling me that that lady was driving off why i'm on the phone with 911 and to go get her and in the 911 tape they hear me running after the lady yelling she's driving off while well, some guys parked and stopped her and didn't allow her to keep going and she even lied in court and said she was looking for parking we were on the side of a road a dirt road because that was the side that we picked up the kids from and even the principal said that that lady was always speeding up and down the street. And she was elderly, like old enough to know better in her 60s. And, you know, I hope she crosses this video because karma, 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 karma. My daughter has a brain injury, short-term memory loss. Anything after the accident, she only retains about 15% of from the day. I can tell her I'm reporting and we kind of just make light of it. I said, never mind, you're not going to remember come, you know, 20, 30 minutes from now. So just come out. If you got to ask something, ask. She kind of figures it out because I did record before the accident. So if she sees the phone or hears me talking to myself, she'll say, are you recording? And I can tell her, yes, she'll go in the room and forget all about it. Yes, it's awful. My daughter did win the lawsuit. The lady lied. And there was so many lies, so many lies, because once the 911 tape was involved and <clears throat> the 911 operator was asking me to get her plate, and I was like, I can't, she's driving away. And she's driving down the street, not looking for parking because there's no other cars and two trucks blocked her in. I couldn't talk about it because it was still in litigation to cover all my daughter's medical bills. Here's the part that gets me. So, and I wish I knew a way to make the world a better place when it comes to this. My daughter is now on disability for the rest of her life. She'll, if she goes to work, she'll have to work through like Salvation Army or somebody that works with disabilities where they can't fire them, especially somebody that has short-term memory loss that would love to work. She loves animals, she loves, you know, helping animals and people, but <clears throat> nobody's gonna keep her employed if she can't remember how to do her job because she needs constant reminders and redirection. But here's my issue. This lady's insurance only covered $50,000. That's it. So basically every penny that was awarded got divided up between the attorney and the bills. My daughter got a little chunk of change which we we haven't seen yet and that's basically a reimbursement for all my gas my time that was with me included because i had to drive her to appointments and my mom tried to keep me grounded saying hey at least you're only planning doctor's appointments and not a funeral i was a hysterical mess i couldn't even talk about what happened to my daughter without breaking down and crying and i look at her now and i do break down because it just it breaks my heart now, fast forward, okay, so you get $7,000 from $50,000. How are you supposed to take care of yourself for the rest of your life? That's just my question. How is my daughter, if something happens to me or I pass away and my daughter is on disability, which she never got a chance to work and she still hasn't even graduated high school, they had to change all of her classes to special ed 
because of the brain injury. She has what's considered a traumatic brain injury with short-term memory loss from a motor vehicle accident versus pedestrian. That is her diagnosis. So somebody that can't gain the quarters to pay into social security to have some kind of social security check, if my husband and I don't support her, which we're going to, we would never not. How does one take care of themselves? This is now where mental illness, substance abuse, suicide, that all comes into play. My daughter tried to commit suicide. She'll tell you. She slit her wrists because she fumbles with her words and she gets frustrated. She can't remember. And some days my intentions of going live are there, but my kids come first. My, my son had COVID twice and was a hot mess. He thought he was going to die because he said it hurt to breathe and I had to not upload for a while. but. There's got to be something that insurances should cover that these babies, if they're injured from an idiot that drove on the wrong side of the road to go around a school bus because she didn't want to wait in line, she wanted to go around a school bus that was allowing kids to get across the street safely and drive on the wrong side of the road and hit a child, I'm sorry, but she should be responsible for a lot more than $7,000. Because that, I mean, my kid's medication, that's going to be swallowed up quickly. And I just don't know how to go about starting something that there should be something in the insurances that if you have an idiot driver, and I am calling this lady an idiot because she's changed my kid's life, my life, my husband's life, her brother's life, everybody's life's forever. My grandmother used, my grandma, her great grandma used to take her a month at a time just because they were each other's person and my daughter forgets that Nana passed away just with her short term memory loss and it's constant reminders and then she'll start crying again I miss Nana and what day did she pass away she misses going to my Nana's but this lady just like you know she got away with robbing my daughter of a normal life and I just wish that there was more that could be done because there's not one crosswalk in front of my daughter's school there's one sign of a lady with a purse and that's the signage they have for crossing there's no lights no crosswalks no nothing no crossing guards to get these babies across the street so in the blink of an eye my daughter's life changed, our life changed, and I just wish that I knew an avenue to go to, not necessarily for my kid, but even sue the city to get crosswalks, crossing guards, signage, lights, something where those kids are. Because two weeks after my daughter was hit, another kid was hit. And those aren't the only two, so this is a chronic problem. And my money is that the same lady probably did it because she's an idiot. And I normally don't call people names, but she's an idiot. I got a couple other words, but I won't use it. Just common sense. And at 60 something, you should have some. That if there's kids crossing, especially preteens and what do they call them, tweens and teens, they're going to look both ways and run and try to beat the car. But even when the private investigator was there recording, there was an accident and another student driver almost ran over a student. So it just comes in all shapes and sizes. Now, the reason why there's so many of these pieces is because it's multiple orders. I'm not re inking the same piece for fun, even though it seems like it would be, right? Now, I use these mini pad ink tools only for my brown, which is the sandcastle, my clay mask, my dosy -si dough, -do, which is for the insides of Franklin ears, which I'm not doing Franklin, so it's not out, but it's a girl is just as similar. Dosi is a little bit more rich. Yeah, I agree. I got a couple other words to call her, but I won't. You know, God says forgive, and I've forgiven. I'm not ever going to forget just because it's going to make me a bad person to hang on to that anger, and I'm not going to be able to redirect the right care and mindset to my daughter when she needs me so I don't focus my 
thoughts on that waiting anymore. She doesn't deserve anger. She doesn't deserve anything. But society, oof. And the cops said they couldn't do much to her because my daughter's um, story changed three times. Well, what do you expect with a head wound, right? She had the biggest goose egg hematoma on her forehead over her eye. And that's where the scar tissue on the brain is, is on her thinking side. Her creativity side is still there, but she can't, she has herniated discs in her neck, herniated discs in her back. She has a permanent kidney injury to the right side. Um, yeah, she, it's not just the brain injury. There's, my daughter has a whole bunch of physical ailments now because of this lady's really smart decision making, right? I just, I'm going to have to go to city council, but right after this happened, yeah, I only use one for each color, um, and they're all labeled. Let me grab them. I got a couple free ones just for I made an order, but peanut brittle for Franklin's muzzle. And the peanut brittle is by Memento, I want to say. Oh, yeah. That's what I use in Franklin's muzzle. Just because it brings out the really pretty brown. And then my do si -do for the ears. Which is, like I said, a little bit darker than the It's a Girl. It's not a super big difference, but you can tell. It just makes it pop a little more. Um, and then my clay mask for my skin and sandcastle. I use these on the mini daubers because it's always a bigger area than little pieces. Little pieces, I use the finger daubers. And now with the finger daubers, Amazon. I went and ordered, they come with pink, green, blue, yellow, orange, and I just labeled them. That way now I won't mix up the colors at all with the pads. And then I just peel these off and put the new ones on. The only thing I wish Amazon would do is make it where we could buy just the foam. I don't need the whole dauber. I just need the foam after a while because I cut it down and use it until it looks like my friend here. Lisa, you know what this is. <laughs> my friend Lisa knows what this is. My Cheeto Puff Buddy. We'll leave that alone, though. That's a joke for another day. But I use it and cut it down, and then it ends up swelling up and looking like this. This one was just a weird one, though, so I didn't even keep cutting it. I just quit using it because I took this out and told my husband this reminded me of someone. And I never put it back in the case. One, because I can't look at it the same way. <laughs> but the shape is so weird. So I'm going to put her over here by the trash. I just haven't thrown it in the trash because it's, I don't, um, the dream box, I got the trash bin that came, it's separate, but I just don't want ink all over my cute little trash can. And it hooks onto the drink container. Um, and oh yeah, it has a bunch of pockets for scissors and all the other stuff on the outside. And you don't necessarily have to use it for um, the dream box. It could go on any desk or table you guys use. And it's not that expensive. It's the drink caddy from um, Create Room, which is the dream box. And you just take that little, it, the prongs click into the little set. Hold on here. Yeah. So it has the drink caddy. And the only reason this is here is so nothing drips on my stuff down there. And then this just comes right off. This piece here is what I record with usually. But because it doesn't allow me to change the camera, I'm not even going to use that. There we go. I think that's even enough. Let me look. There we go. But No, I use these for the bigger surfaces. One, because it covers more. But two... They just last a, a lot longer being bigger and then I don't have to worry about trimming them down. Now, the clay mask, I know um, Aline had ordered, Aline is one of the design team members with me from Marjorie Ann Designs. She ordered some of the Catherine Puller as well. 
it goes on pretty dark. But let's see. As it dries, it lightens up. It's still not like uh, dried all the way. Mm, hold on. There we go. Yeah. So it goes on dark, but it does dry a lot lighter, which that's why I like these. Now this is going to be the under mask. I have the trash with the drink holder I got in Hunter X. Oh, Ontario Expo, what is that? Do they still have them? Was it a scrapbook expo? You know, pre-COVID and post-COVID life is different because we lost so much stuff. I used to go to the conventions in Vegas. They don't even have them anymore. They can't. Well, I don't know if they're doing it this year, but even the computer, um, the CES computer electronic show, because I play video games, I used to play them a lot. They had to cancel those because of COVID, and then they refunded everybody's tickets, and then cosplay. I went to those, and I've been to one scrapbooking convention, and I've been to a gun convention twice, but I don't know what the Ontario Expo is. I know in Vegas we had, like, um, the San Gennaro Festival, and these people from Italy and then local and California even, they would drive to Vegas, but they uh would have some of the neatest little contraptions they would bring and sell in the little booths i have stuff one of my favorite blankets i got from the san Gennaro festival 20 years 18 years ago because my daughter was just born and i still have it and it is still just as fluffy as it was the day we bought it it was 40 bucks for this thick old blanket well if they have it you need to message me i'll go my husband will go He'll drive me. He'll go find something to do down there if he doesn't want to actually walk. He likes to walk and shop, though. He's just as bad as a woman. He was telling me today that he likes going to... Do you call it wasting money? I think that's what I'm going to call it. That's my final answer. He wants to go to freaking Universal and all that just to walk around. Not for the rides. Just to walk around and shop. I'm like, really? You want to get season passes to Knott's and Magic Mountain and Disneyland again just to walk around? My daughter and I, we got them because we go on the rides. Even if I have to suffer for a week after, I want my daughter still to have fun and make those core memories. Even though, yes, message me. I'll go. I don't care how much it is. My husband will drive me because it's... Ontario is, like I said, about 20, 25 minutes. All the way he drives, about 15 minutes. It's not too far. But the drive with the seatbelt kills my neck, so he drives and I just lay back. And I lay back for my own safety because I'm a backseat driver even though I'm in the passenger seat. And I'm sure he wants to put my head out the window and close the window so he can't hear me. But we won't talk about that. I press the brake for him even though my side doesn't work. Um, but yeah, he'll take me. But if it's a day he has to work, I'll get down there one way or another. I can handle the drive. I just have to take Tylenol, and I'm liking the Tylenol ibuprofen mixture, but I think that's why I have an ulcer. I have a doctor's appointment coming up for GI because my tummy's been burning, and I think that's, like I told my doctor, that's the only relief I can get on my neck and my shoulder is the ibuprofen, but I know what it does to our stomach. It turns it into ground beef. So I told him if I ever run out of meat, you know, I'll just throw it up. That's okay. Because it looked nasty. But I'm pretty sure I have another ulcer. And it's from the ibuprofen. But I can function pretty okay. Not great. I still have the tremors and the numbness. I will never have the filling back in my arm. They've already told me that. I waited five months after my neck was broken to have surgery because I did not want the surgery. And I just had this weird feeling about this quack of a doctor because every time I went in to see him, he thought my grandmother was the patient. And I'm like, okay, my chart says 37 because this was five years ago. My chart doesn't say 77. Like, that's not... My grandma was old. Dude, she was 40 years older than me. Like, what the heck? And my gut was just like... But that was the only doctor in our plan, so I got stuck with him. And he... When he took the bones out and put the cadaver bone in and then the plates, he pinched a nerve in the plate. So I have permanent nerve impingement, not counting the nerve he severed. So yeah. Life is great because of him. But, um, 
no, I will get down to Ontario. I love, because they, you can get your hands on stuff before it even hits the shelves. And your hands on stuff that some stores will never carry. Hobby Lobby was the only place I was really going. Yeah, I have to lay back and look at my phone because I told my husband, I feel like I'm psychic and know he's going to kill us. <laughs> he tells me to shut up and just, I can't, I can't. I said, I'm psychic. I know you're going to wreck the car and kill us. I, I feel it in my bones and I have a vision. He's like, this is not final destination. Let me drive. But see, I'm smart because on our, uh, my do on our Dodge Charger, I turn on all the safety. We paid all this extra money for side airbags and front airbags. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the visor is probably an airbag. But mm, our rear view mirrors have these big yellow triangles that show up. So I know if he's getting too close to a car or the drunk bumps and there's a car in the next lane. But if he tries to merge, the car makes this horrible loud dinging noise. He hates it. But I turn it on when I know he's going to drive because he scares me. Yes, I got in the car and when I looked on the dashboard, I was looking to make sure the tires were good on the new tires, the pressure. Oh yeah, I see miles per hour recorded, 124. I know I didn't do that, that was him. And I'm sure there was probably more than that because I got um, the sport, mm, I have this sport edition, I don't know exactly so the way it is, you can use fob keys and then all the dashboard has extra buttons where you can actually turn on the sport mode. And the handling and everything gets different and tighter because you're racing it. So when I saw that, I wanted to kill him. I just, oh my lord, you're trying to meet your maker before your time. Don't do that with me in the car in it, please. I just, uh-uh, you will end up walking. You better call whatever city bus or Uber to get you home because I will leave you there. Yes. No, you're not alone. Uh-uh. He, mm -mm, no. He thinks it's, you can't even feel you're going that fast. Well, look, when everything is just a blur and going by in an instant, I know we're going that fast. But you can't tell him any different. I don't know what color to do the edges of these. I think I'm just going to... Maybe stick to purple. No. Mm -hmm. I think that. No, let's go lighter. I don't want it overpowering. I just want it where it's gonna separate the edges. Yeah, husbands are not fun and they're not funny. Mm -mm. And then when, you know. Let's go to the zoo. So, of course, we're going to the San Diego Zoo. We got tickets. They're good for a year because they keep, you know, you got to reserve the date and then you don't have to because of COVID, blah, blah, blah. Well, that means I got to take a sedative to go in the car to get there with him. I think I'm going to go with Pucker Up. Because I think it's going to bring out the darker pink. And just look more... There we go. Yeah, I think we'll go with the pucker up. Even though this one... Oh my gosh, yes I did do that. I just dumped all those pieces into the wrong bag. Yay me. Oh my goodness. Well, at least I know what pieces they were. I knew I shouldn't have had that bag right there, but I was putting, and what I did for the sunglasses, I cut out acetate. This one, you get it from 12 by 12 cardstock shop and it comes with a protective coating over it. Um, they peel off on the front and the back. It just saves, so that way it stays shiny and it's not scratched. Let me sort these pieces out real quick, just because I'm really, really smart. Because I know I need two arms, two bodies, two heads. Mm. Alright, there's one. But I know that it doesn't matter as far as... One's facing left and one's facing right, but either way... 
this one was the bunch on the top, so I'm pretty sure this was all them. Yeah. Good thing I stacked them all together when I did that dumb move. The only thing is, I have an extra head. And I need two arms and two toes. And a nose. Ooh, yeah, that was a good job. Goodness. The, I just picked the bag on top and didn't even realize I was putting it into that bag. But they're duplicates, thankfully, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes as long as I got the right numbers of the right pieces. That hand. That toe. One more hand. And that's it. Is it that one? No. Oh, so fun. Yes, do it again, please. Alright, I need one more little hand, and there's then that goes in the other bag. So, I was just trying to figure out which color for the bathing suit to bring out. Well, the hand doesn't really matter. I'm not going to cry over the hand because it doesn't go on until the end anyways, but there it is. Um, I was trying to just... Let me put that bag away. Trying to bring out the purple, I guess, since I brought out the pink for the bathing suit. Yes, acetate is great. Um, I have it on the... Actually, you know what? I can put the sunglasses together now because I've already done them. Just that way you can see them. What the acetate does. So it's from 12 by 12 cardstock shop. You can get it anywhere if you need it. In 12 by 12 cardstock shop ships very quick. So you won't wait long if you don't want to make a ride to the store. Um, also, Joann's has it. And I used, for my glasses, the stickles. I just used a paintbrush and applied it, that's all. So, um, this is part of why I hopped on so you guys can see how to get the acetate and everything on. Now, if you guys have an ATG, that's fine, that tape gun, but you definitely, if not, you will need a sticker maker. And the reason why is because the sticker maker, you're going to put it through, it's going to permanently, I use the permanent, that's going to stick to your, um, oh, it's going to stick to your acetate. And you're not going to have glue all over the place. Because that's a huge thing. And you do have to glue just the edge here. This one, for that though, I use Barely Art. Because it dries the fastest. In no, I don't use Barely Art. I take that back. Art Glitter Glue. It dries the fastest and it doesn't... It wipes off pretty easily. And then the other tool you'll need are these. These are Imagine Sticks. Oh, me too. That's why um, Lisa and I were talking about stickles. I just, I wanted to bring some life into the glasses. I didn't just want them plain. And um, this is a silicone tip. It takes glue off of, not as good as the glue eraser, but it takes it off the acetate for you. I need to move these bathing suit pieces before I really lose my mind. So with this here, you just have to start it. And as you can see, my trimmer's a little bit shaky. It's fine. I just got to get a corner started so I can pick it up. All right. And what I do is I put a little dot. on the corner that way I know which way faces up and also that way um, I put this back down over the glasses once it's glued on to protect the glasses so all you're gonna do I did with the pattern have to play with this and meaning the lenses were cut out in a different color 
and I didn't want them cut out because I wanted to put them on as sunglasses. So I had to go through and contour this lens piece and um, get rid of the actual lens part because I did not want it showing up in the, the glasses. I wanted them to look like sunglasses, not just have the inserts in them. So all I do with this is I put it on. And it doesn't matter if you touch it at this point because you still have the protective film on it. Oh yes. I use Barely Art and the reason being is Days with Tremors the art glitter glue is unforgiving and it's once it's down it's down sister and that's just all bad for me i can't i would cry losing use of some of my pieces because the barely art if you put it down and it's a little crooked you have time to move it and the art glitter glue you don't it's done when it's done it's done and that's like the worst part so now, here's what the acetate looks like. We're going to cover it once I'm done here. They look like little glasses. There's a delay, so I have to kind of wait for it to catch up. So that's drying. Now we're going to peel these off. Well, let me put a, these are from Amazon, these glue bottles. Um, I have, this one is art glitter, and this one is barely art. And I just turned my camera. Okay, there we go. But I can't use the big bottles. I drop them. They're just too heavy and they're harder for me to squeeze. So mine are just in baby bottles, I guess. Skinny little bottles. All right. And then with this, you're just going to lay it down. That's all. And I go from the middle. But all I did was contour it and I got rid of the lens cutout. And I. Cut it out just as the whole back piece. But that's it. Those are sunglasses. Yes. I got a little bit right there and I can clean that up after. That's not a big deal. And it dries clear, so I'm not too worried about it. It'll dry. But then I just kind of run my finger over the back. But make sure you save this. Because when it's not in use, then you just put it back on. And it protects. Just throw it on the floor. I never tried those bottles. I have different ones from Amazon. Love they don't clog. Yeah. I use the, um, their fine line applicators and um, I have tons and tons of extra packages of them. The reason being I have so many is just because after a while, sometimes I know one bottle I tried to twist off the top and the top just won't come off. My husband tried to, and um, I don't know why I just took that. Oh, because that was in the way of what I was pulling out. It's funny, for how many drawers my dream box and my dream cart have, I know where everything is. My dream cart next to me, let me see, there we go. My dream cart next to me, it all has shelves as well, and I know where everything is. It actually.